Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Old World Conquest. This is Europa Universalis 4. Here we are, the Pueblo, and there's a big war going on, but that's totally fine with us because we can really, really take over everyone and maybe carpet siege everything and win and destroy things like the Huron and everything else and hopefully, um, I mean, it's all up to the Iroquois really if they want to just lose their war. Ungrateful leaders of Apache have risen on our peaceful settlement oh no that matters so little it's unbelievable these guys are where are they going they are are not trained super well see i think i can actually take them but i'm not really sure about that that's my that's my issue is can i really take them uh, their leader is, they have a really, really good leader, although, uh, it doesn't really matter, our shock is higher, which should give us some good stuff, I mean, sure, they have good guns, but that doesn't really matter now, does it? We're 17 versus 20, uh, I think, I think we can take them, but honestly, that isn't something that I am certain of, it, it, it sort of worries me quite a bit. What ideas did I take again here? Oh, I did actually take, uh, I did take this stuff over here. So that is that, that that does comfort me quite a bit. And also, what do we got here? We've got a boat that is making its way all around the world. So hopefully we can do something about that. So we're just going to go wipe these guys out. So let's just go play this out for a moment. Um, great. Wow, geez, look at these guys. Abenaki, were, have you guys... Oh, they have reformed. Okay, I see what the deal was there. Um, that's fine. I mean, uh, we, are, we, we did trounce them, and there you go. The sword is stronger than the book. Whatever, we can lose a stability. Um, that's fine. Should we try gaining it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, these guys are going over there. We should... We should go... Should we, should we just go like this and send it over there? Uh, when, would, when would we get there? We would get there on 9th of June. And they would actually arrive in Guatemala on the 10th. Great, so why don't we just try it? Why don't we try and just trounce them uh, on on this piece of land right here? So we can go over here. Let's just move these guys over here to follow them. These guys are going to be right there. Hopefully they get trounced. These guys are going to be taking over that piece of land, which does suck. But hopefully we can um, take the Choctaw part. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to find out in a second, won't we? Great. Oh, my God. We just melt them. Holy crap. They don't stand a darn chance, don't do they? So great. Okay. Awesome. And we take our we take our men right over here, which are these guys, and we just make them go right down there, and we're just gonna carpet siege uh, until the day uh, we die. So great. Awesome. We click OK. OK. Then we go over here, and then we um, we're just gonna split them in half and move the other guys right in there. Then that's gonna be good. These guys are gonna go over there, and we are. We should just take these guys and then just start moving them. Okay, great. So we've got... Uh, th those are actually ours. I didn't even realize. Um, how? The, 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 where are the Huron militarily? Oh, we can probably, like... Let's just go and let's just... Um, want to take these guys. We want to detach enough units to effectuate a proper siege. These guys are over there. That's the Huron army. Um, and we might, I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I'm going to just send more men up into here in just a moment. Uh, we've got, what do we got here? We've got, oh, wow, look at that. So, France, Lavrador, there is what looks, I don't know if that's really properly Greenland or if that's, uh, if that's what's good, if that's something that's going on here. We've got France, which is, um, France is doing some really good stuff. So now we've actually spotted France, which is nice. Our boat is doing some really good stuff. Where is it right now? Um, let's go check it out. It's right here. We are currently at, still at 95%, which is actually very good, because that means that, uh, it's probably not gonna die anytime too soon. Um, let's just go, fine. If we can go over here like this, and let's just, uh, detach enough units, and then we're just gonna move down there, and we're just gonna keep detaching units and stuff like that. Let's just go over here like this. Great. So now we can take these guys and we want to detach enough units. We want to go over here and we want to detach enough units. These guys, the bunch of units, we're going to select these guys. These guys are going to go up here. And these ones, which are the other ones, we want to select... Oh, excuse me. We want to select uh, this unit. These ones are going to go um, down, I don't know, over here or something like that, I guess. Uh, these guys seem to have gone down this way. No, oh, that's fine with me. Let's just keep on trying. Ungrateful natives of Apache have risen up, which is cool. I mean, I guess if that's what they want to do. Great. These guys over here, we're going to send them. Nope. These guys go right there. These 
these guys go down here. These guys were still making sure that they go that way, which is awesome. Uh, we are seeing some guys come. They are coming down, which is not so hot, but that's okay with me. If I can go like this and then just go like that, hopefully I can come in and really start helping out. Uh, these nine men, we can send them in there as well. And then that's just going to pretty much take care of everyone. Uh, maybe we'll be in there a little bit late, but... Um, I mean, look at that. So we just click the nation of Iroquois, your faithful allies, requesting that you come to their aid in the Portuguese crusade against Iroquois, Port Portugal, Labrador. Uh, they're allied with that. Um, well, in that one, I'm going to have to decline uh, that war because seriously, if Portugal takes them over, then uh, what can I do? If Portugal takes Iroquois over, then then that's it. I'm just I'm just screwed. So um, I'm gonna take over Abenaki while uh, while these guys are are doing that. So I'm sorry. Decline. Okay. Uh, Apache have become self-sustaining. Excellent. Well, then we can take these guys. We're gonna move them right into Abenaki over here. And um, I mean, this war we're gonna we're gonna lose it, but it's gonna be it's gonna be annoying, isn't it? Well, I guess it is. I guess we're going to figure it out, won't we? Whatever, I don't really care. Um, so great, we can go like this, and we win. We win, we lose, we win. Okay, these guys are going there. Um, these guys, we won that one, so we go over here. We, uh, we, oh, there is no siege in this province. You guys, can we, we can't, there's no siege, there's no sieging this province? Oh, whatever. Um, we can go over here, these guys, we take these. Eight men, and we move them towards this direction, which is cool. These guys can stay here. This will detach enough units to... Sure, it'll detach enough units. Sure, those guys are going to go over there. Um, these guys are already moving there. We just move these guys in there. And I can't really detach anyone else. These guys go there. We take them over. If they're in a war against Portugal, then we figure, then they can figure that out. Our policy of choosing offensive or defensively is the elan of the armies. I don't even know what that even means, but sure. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we lost. Oh crap. We, we're losing we're losing wars, really? Seriously? Again? I don't know what where where or how we're losing, but sure. Okay, so these guys go there. These guys are these guys seriously can't detach anyone. I don't know. I don't know why. There's no siege in this province. Well, screw you guys. That's what I have to say. So these guys go there. Uh, I don't know where. These guys are going over here for whatever reason. Uh, sure. Let's actually then just leave these guys here. Awesome. Okay, like that. And then well, we. Oh, come on. What? How are these? There you go. Um, province of Nashia is now considered for part of our patrimony. Okay, well then, if they're if we're gonna be getting in a couple places, we've got to start moving men in different uh, regions because we uh, don't want to lose out on provinces that are good. So let's go and uh, we can take the we got our boats over here. Um, what do we want? We've got is this this one of our men. I don't I don't know who this is, but whatever. Um, okay, this is a bit tricky. We can now we can now westernize. Oh, look at that! We can actually westernize. That's fantastic. So let's uh, click that, and then our stability will be able to boost it really quickly. National revolt risk plus five. Fuck it. Yolo. Okay, there you go. And now all we really want to do is to go over here, boost, boost, and boost. And um, are we gonna try boosting it again? Two hundred and ten points. I don't know about that. Uh, we can, let's just boost it again. That'll make that at least go down. Uh, we've got a free advisor slot. This guy, do we got any? No, we only got ones. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, so great. We got that. Now we are losing some money every month. Why are we losing money every month? What's costing us all this crap? How much is, what is costing us what? Oh my god. Balance is just, it's just stupid numbers. Uh, I don't even know, I don't even know what's costing us all of this money. We don't even have a colony running. We don't, yeah, we don't have a colony running anywhere at all, do we? Uh, so what is, what is causing us, what is costing us all this, all this cash? I don't know, total income, uh, army maintenance is very high. Uh, that is, that is indeed the truth. 
Uh, geez, yeah, army maintenance is happening, uh, disputed succession, all right, well, I guess we are in a war, aren't we? I don't know, I don't really know what to do here. Fleet maintenance, I don't want to lower that, and that's just going to make things go bad. Uh, we can claim this one, we've got this one, I don't know if we're the war leader on it. Uh, we've got this one, sure, this one over here, we've got, you take these guys, and uh, these guys over here, what we want to do is we want to take them uh, three. We're going to select these guys. We're going to make them go over here like that. And these guys, uh, these guys, we're going to make them try and go over there. Maybe that's going to make some kind of a difference. And uh, look at that. Oh, man, there's actually a lot of stuff going on over here. So these guys, first these guys, we're going to make them go over here. And then these guys right here, we're going to make them go right there. So we're going to see how this pans out. Uh, we're losing money. Hopefully we can end that soon. But I don't know if that's going to be the case or if that's going to take forever. And eventually our goal is to westernize, of course. So great. Now we can go over here and... Oh my god, fucking Chippewa. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to um, we want to detach the amount of units to make a siege properly and move the rest right into Chippewa, which should hopefully do something. Uh, then what we want to do is these guys are going to go right down into there, which is good. Uh, we're going to be sieging all of Huron and Abenaki and everyone else. So that should be good. Hopefully, um, my king diplomats have stopped trying to, um, recall the diplomat. Okay, so now what have we got? Oh my god, look at that. Did our little boat die or is it, is it somewhere? Um, we, look at that, we unlocked the whole world. Wow, would you look at this? Look at this, look at these, look at this, fellas. We've unlocked the world now that we send that little boat out. Isn't this crazy? Holy smokes, look at this world. It is fucking weird. Well, now we can see our size. We can see that we are quite giant, um, but that doesn't really mean much. These provinces are just big. You know, there's, Portugal has done a lot. All right, let's see, let's see what uh, Europe is like. We've got Great Britain. I actually seem to have managed to form Great Britain. Brittany still exists. France. Um, Germany is just a big giant mess right now, but maybe there's some sort of civil wars going on or something. Um, Castile, it looks like uh, Aragon and Castile still fought for a long time. Great Britain. Denmark is pretty big. Uh, the Ottomans are pretty big. Well, we've got uh, Castilian Canada over here. we got the Pueblo, which is us. Hopefully, we're going to make some strides in getting some of this good land in the near future. But, oh my god, minus 10? How are we getting minus 10? My god, that is luda. All right, and that's ludicrous. Are we sending that there? That there? We're going to be going over here, down this way. I don't know what's going on over here or over here or over any of these places. But uh, are, we, are we the war leader? Abenaki is the war leader. If we get them to 100%, our goal is take Lipan. Leader may negotiate for us. Um, well, we haven't done anything, which is the problem because we might win this, and I don't know what Iroquois is going to do. If Iroquois just takes Lipan, then they're, they're fucking idiots. They should wait, but I fear that they might. Can I... Is there a way I can become this war leader? War goal... Um, you, Iroquois, establish protectorate. Uh, that We don't have anything going on with them. Uh, dynastic, ask for military access. Can I just become, uh, form coalition? Can I just become the war leader? I don't know if I can. Do, do we even not have an alliance with them? View our country, uh, Cherokee is a vassal and Sasquatch, and we have Abenaki and is a coalition. We have a royal marriage with them, but that seems that we broke, uh, we broke our alliance with them. By not joining that fucking war with Portugal. But that was just dumb. So um, I'm sorry. But we're not going to ruin everything by doing that. So now we can go over here. And we're going to detach enough units. And move out up here. And then hopefully Iroquois is smart enough to realize that. Uh, like that. There you go. So this we're still taking over there. If there was a way, like, can I, can I just move? Ah, oh, they're still gonna, they're still gonna do it, eh? If I move my men out of there, like, there's no way. Ugh, why, why did, they're in a war with Portugal, aren't they? Send your men out of here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take my men and move them out of there. I'm gonna move my men out, and hopefully they're gonna move their men out of there too. Because seriously, they're Iroquois in some big trouble here. And if they don't do something about it, then, then they're gonna really regret it soon. So, I don't know. I mean, it's my time. I can take on Huron and Choctaw right now. I can totally wipe them off the face of this earth if I want to do that. 
Um, one of our vessels has been lost. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to ask for uh, fleet basic rights. My bad. Well, would they have done it? No, they wouldn't have given me fleet basing rights. Well, look at that. I can now see the world. Isn't that grand? That is very spectacular. So, voila, voila. I can now uh, I can now really see the world for what it truly is. Thank God I sent that boat out there, didn't I? Um, can you guys, like, seriously just make send your men over there? You guys, stop. Mm, fuck you guys. You guys are assholes. You guys are going to win this war. I don't want them to win the war because when they... Oh, okay. 100%. Can I do anything? Can I... Individual war score. Can I... You have no. I have no diplomats to send. Well, that's a real problem, isn't it? I have no diplomats to send. That's my problem, number one. And I don't know if they're going to wait until stuff goes on. So, uh, diplomacy... I don't even know. Uh, Sasquanach. Well, I'm currently doing something with them. Uh, what have we got? We got 134 days. Let's go to Sasquanach. Let's go to diplomacy. And let's, um, let's stop relation improvement. And see, 68 days. Well, this war is just going to end before that. Oh, boy, look at that. Everything everything just happened. Oh, following effects. Gain five prestige. Regrettably, we've lost our cost as belly against Iroquois. Well, now we can't even... Um, now they're not going to do it. They offer vassalization royal marriage. Um, and to have a royal marriage, you must have the same religion. Okay, well, now they're not going to become our vassal. But now I need to just, like, take all my men, and I need to uh, declare a war on, like, Huron or something like that. No mission selected. Create a power for fleet, improve relations with Cherokee, or claim our rival's provinces, Nuta. Nukta? What is Nukta? Where is Nukta? I don't know where that one is, but uh, I hope it's not uh, one of the rivals that I really hate. Nukta? Nukta, where are you? I don't know. I don't know where Nukta is. Claim our rival's province. Uh, well, we you know we're gonna improve relations with Cherokee or create a proper fleet. We're gonna figure that out next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Ah oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.